Hey, how are you guys doing today? So, like, uh, basically the plan is that we're going to kick some butt. I'm going to grab these dailies up here because we're going to include them in what we're doing run-wise. Now, I tell you, we're going to get a lot of swirlies because we pretty much are insured to grab a bunch of swirlies. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure to grab our manufacturer weapon skill daily for the six pack in manufacturer weapon skill. Because even though we house the manufacturer skill, we can never have enough. Because we're going to be mining, we're going to make sure to grab every one of these like four pack here, some odd pack here, mining type dailies. And we're going to stack these because we have enough of the points to be able to actually stack missions for mining. A lot of that's not going to matter. We'll kind of get back to that. This uh, loot thing right here would be if we were going to hunt and kill a whole bunch of, uh, I believe it's robots. We're not going to do that right now. That That's not the plan for the day. So the very next thing we're going to do. Is I'm going to come in here. We're going to start off by knocking out some of those globals. Make sure we're up over here. By the way, I hope you guys are having a kick butt day. So here's how the first set of globals are going to happen. One, I'm going to get our daily out of the way. We don't really care about the back build on it and stuff like that. So I'm not going to use our metal residue on it. We do care about the fact that we're going to get that uh, skill points daily. Um, that wasn't a success. I'll show you my blueprint just so we know where we're at on blueprint. It's a 34. I only use this for the daily. I don't make those on a, hey, I make giant runs of this specific one. And a lot of the reason on why I don't make giant runs is if you look up the markup, right there 500 percent i prefer mostly to hunt those myself just for the uh, benefit of the markup not being kicking our butt now this is an lrs1 x1 it's absolutely an amazing gun i'm going to show you mine i use this weapon um, often obviously i have it all the way up to four and in all honesty i think we're Crap, that's going slow. We're closing in, but this is my go-to if I'm efficiently just hunting like low-level mobs and I'm not working up pyro-type stuff. Does that make sense? And so it's an excellent weapon. I often do have them at my um, little booth on Crystal Palace. Sorry, guys, that nothing to do with this. I am going to get back there and I'm going to uh, restock and stuff too. Um, I noticed somebody did go in and buy these out. I'm going to put this up. I don't think we're going to get a blueprint with a 25 clicky click run. But we're going to make 25 of these. Now, there's the great thing about this as a weapon also. Because this is a repairable weapon and it's only 10 ped, we don't have to have metal re residue to be able to like make these. Because you can literally just go and backfill them at the repair station before posting them and stuff. And so that, that's absolutely awesome. Um, as a expensive item, ooh, so I charge in my store 20 pad markup. Um, I know people do go in and uh, I know that these are all over the place for, for sale at, at higher amounts, honestly. I'm okay with where my price point is. I don't pay a significant, significant markup. Like that's a lot of markup, and you guys are seeing that that's, that's a good markup, right? But in all honesty, that's like eight pad and stuff like that. And so all together, we're going to like put some pad into this, but it's not some ridiculous amount to where like the price point is. But on the other hand, a lot of the people making these might not be benefiting from being. Uh, a fully qualified crafter and I'm not fully fully qualified because I'm still missing industrialist in which I won't get that until I get one of my things to level uh, 60 I need a actual item crafty skill or any of them actually to be honest um, but industrialist is, is it's a lot of work the rest of this is backfilled pretty nicely and so 
Um, that's enough of that. Let's get some squirrelies real quick, and then you'll see why I was so easily be able to guarantee it. I am going to use this because why not? It doesn't even matter, really. We're going to do all 25 clicks. I would like it if we got all 25 of these. I'm going to click this where that's like that. Click. Oh, sorry. It's a lot of chat rooms, right? Okay, it can get overwhelming with that stuff. I don't even know what all is going on sometimes. Okay, so 25 clicks of this. You guys are going to see why I'm saying that we're going to get lots of swirlies. Let's start some swirlies off. Okay, so that was in near. Oh, let's move to system. I don't want people visiting. You know what I mean? I don't feel comfortable putting everybody else's visitings on my stream most of the time. So you'll notice we just lost one chip at this point. And obviously this is not a perfect blueprint. And they're brutness. This is not how bad it normally goes. Boom. Okay. So there's our first global. So now we're out of residue. And we're going to continue to go. It's not a real global. Guys, it's just a swirly. Okay, so we're getting a lot of swirlies. This is why I specifically said swirlies. Now, if we get a global while we are swirling like this, it's going to be awesome. And I'm cool with that too. By the way, if you stand in a group of people that are struggling in hard crafting. And you start like rolling out a run like this. I'm sure people do sit there with the WTF going on. Because, I mean, how can you not feel like, what the crap, right? Like, it, it's not, it's not, guys. It's not really, it, okay? I'm literally crafting Ospin LRS ones. They legitimately will just do a swirly. That's why I said lots of swirlies. I wasn't trying to mislead you. Now, we probably will get a global while we're doing our crap, our, uh, mining run because our mining run is going to be a good mining run but anytime you successfully craft an um an ospen lrs1 x1 it does a swirly and it's the same as the clothes i'm wearing when you craft um what are they called imperium nobility clothing because it takes one of these chips they also swirly you, I think, most of the time. Maybe all the time. But see how there's no global symbols next to any of these? We're just getting swirlies, which is kind of complicated. But this is just restocking. It does look like we're just slaughtering it. But if you do global on one of these, it's going to be a serious, serious global. It's not going to be a messing around global. There is a nice, uh, we got some stuff there and that's not a global still see but i got way excited because it's so confusing and i'm sure this guy standing next to me over here is like what the heck this guy's doing something i don't know but i do know that it, it if you roll up into a group of people that are brand new in like one of the crafting zones where they're this can be a, a morale slaughtering event for people you know what i'm saying like you don't want to be sitting there crafting and, and be like having the guy next to you going, foo, foo, foo. Yeah, no. And it appears like you are, but there's certain items that no matter if you global or not, they're going to give you a swirly for creating the item. And I'm going to be honest, I have no idea why they decided. Um, certain items were like that. What is this? A, a plasma version one, guys? Did we just find a plasma version? That's a ridiculous markup. But if we just got a plasma thing right there. Oh, no, it's BLP. I'll take it, though. That's not horrible. Is this not the one? The CBP. This is obviously not the one that's in the... Do we have more of those? No. Okay. 
I gotta go check CBP. We're, then we're gonna go straight to mining and stuff. Oh, I gotta unload those. I'm not gonna fly them back to my thing. I just wanna make sure that. Where's this little terminal guy? There it is. No. No, it's not that one. I just wanted to check. It's the pistol version. Okay. That's good. Definitely aren't trading those. And so we got one. Two, three, oh, let's just count rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows. Eight rows of these? Yeah. That's plenty. So we got 16. So those will go at plus 20 pad markup over the uh, trade terminal amount. Does that make sense? And so that's reasonably within profits anyway, to be honest. Um, plus, those are such a freaking fun thing to run. And so I'll have those back in Crystal Pad. Oh, I'm not going to load all 16. So the reason I made so many is I keep loading um, three of them at a time in there, right? And people just keep buying them out. We're going to go to Risen Island. Oh, no. We're going to collect the other side of the mining missions, guys. I almost messed this out of double stacking. And I'll collect that weapon manufacturing part later when we get back to... So over here, if you have, I think it's like 300 or 200, I don't know, it's some ARC badges, it's a lot of ARC badges, you get access to additional mining missions in which basically they're just asking you to find three claims per thing, the other one's one claim. So likely on some of these we're going to find multiple claims before we find all the claims. And so... At that point, some of these are going to double stack. And we get stuff and an ARC badge on that. That's So the ARC badges, I don't know if you guys have watched the previous stuff where I go over why ARC badges matter so much. But they're super important. You can't upgrade uh, the Imperium plates and stuff like that. You can't upgrade the... Uh, Fancy armor. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's actually Penelian armor. Um, you can't do any of that. Now, here's why we're, we're going to do well mining, too. So, let me make sure we find the right tool. This is the right tool. Okay. So, this is an Athena amplifier. These are amazing. I often usually have them in my store. These one I grabbed from somebody else because... Uh, because I didn't have some on me. They're that good. I refused to use something else. We're going to get a 4% skill gain while doing that. That's a significant thing. Drop it on the correct one. Um, earlier on, I actually broke down. We have 2 uh, million or 200 ped, 231 ped in universal ammo to use for mining, which should be fine, to be honest. Um, this tool, let's look at what it does. We're going to be dropping, I think we have a depth amplifier on it right now. We're going to be dropping 593 uh, meters down. That's pretty good. I always debate at one point, what point do we start dropping the diameter range amplifiers? I mean, I don't know. That's a mixed question. The first place we're going to mine, though, is this uh, Miner's Island. It's actually called Risen Island. But it's basically a tree farming area slash mining area, to be honest. And so, well, I'm not going to tree farm. <coughs> Sorry, guys. We're going to flip this baby out, though. So these have ridiculous amounts of, of usability to them, to be honest. Somebody else is probably mining here, but the likelihood that they're mining in the same depth as us is not that high. Which is the advantage of using specialized tools, to be honest. 
is you don't have to worry about so many people overlapping you and stuff like that. By the way, those amps do increase the yield of what you actually grab. I repaired everything before we left, so we actually can check what we burn up in stuff too. I mean, minus we, we're not going to pay strict attention to that. I know we're going to do well and I'm not that worried about the exact tracking everything. Or I would use one of those tracker programs. I do like those. I see people using those. I don't like people, programs and stuff like that interfacing with my stuff for some reason. Bugs. I didn't go far enough there, guys, just so you know. We were still within the circle range. I should have actually went just a little bit further before we uh, started dropping stuff. That was, that was pseudo risky. Like sometimes I'll watch up here, in all honesty, when I'm being very well behaved. I watch up there because it's a 55 meter range, right, around us. And so, holy crap, you see that? That guy just had a really good day. I hope he gets himself a drink for that. That's a... I'm not trying to encourage drinking of any kind. I could be mean soda pop. But I'm just saying that I hope that if you get a $1,000 global HOF, I assume that was an HOF, that you deserve to have a soda pop or drink of any kind of your choice, to be honest. Okay, let's drop one. And then I'll start paying better attention to where we're at on this. I don't want to just be overlap dropping too much. That's bad business. See, so we already got one of our missions out of the way. Skill in. Actively kicking the crap out of this island. I love those Osmonds, by the way. They're an excellent weapon kind of excited about that little pistol blueprint that we got though a lot of stuff went into that guys I was legit just trying to come swing by grab some skilling this is my skilling planet though like straight up if I were um, a ballistic pistol guy though just so you guys know I would be skilling off of uh, we're watching till we click to the next hunter digit um, I'd be skilling probably on Tolan for all the, the stackability of the ballistic pistol and crap like that missions. Pretty ridiculous, to be honest. I mean, I'm not complaining against it. They did well on, on designing their, their missions to be coherently stackable in a direction. And not just like... Psh, And this is not what I would consider a heavy amp, you guys, just for the record. Uh, they have a skill gain bonus and I think a 4 amp to the yield load. You know what I'm saying? Um, efficiency amp. But it's a yield load amp is what it really is at the end of the day. That, that's why people use amps 100%. Especially if you know specifically where something is and you're just harvesting up stuff like... That's when you for sure should be amped mining. But exploratory mining with like a loaded like light yield amp, not a bad idea. I'm going to get it to where like we're at an even amount. Oh. Right. That way when we go down this, we're kind of gritting it. See, because I don't want a lot of overlap in this this run. And we're still going to overlap a little bit anyway, because reality, you know. But... Sometimes to prevent overlap, though, I just mine that outer, like, red edge area. 
works pretty good. But that's still only going to be a few meters overlap. I mean, okay, so we got two claims there. Do you know the other thing that swirlies like crazy though, besides just Ospins, uh, there's a lot of actual things that will do that, but uh, the one that confused me at first because I didn't know what people were running or the cost of it, ridiculous cost, is when people are running any, uh, like a gizmo recycler or whatever it is, or any recycler, right? Those things are kind of ridiculous. And so, um, uh, those people, if it's either you uh, fell on it, well, or you get a near success, and likely you're to get a near success or a success on it. They're actually pretty kind on those, if you're qualified. If you're not qualified, you'll get murdered. Do not use them. Um, but any success on those is a freaking global, like a good swirly global. I mean... And I have no idea what an HOF looks like. Those, those things are too expensive for me. At one point, when I was running crap loads of um, EP rounds on Monria and other planets, I would get them, and I mostly sold them because the markup is in the like ridiculous amount. It's like an amazing markup on them. And so, um, what would happen is one day I did get curious enough to be like, "Oh, let me click one of these." And um, I clicked more than one, but then uh, I'll tell you, I th I thought, oh, these are dangerous. I I don't need to mess with these. <coughs> they're really expensive, guys, and and in all honesty, they're they're what I would consider a high risk crafting type venture, in which that like legit might go good for you, might not. Boy, that was kind of ridiculously picky on that locationing. But I didn't feel comfortable with them. And I know a lot of people do feel comfortable with them, but I mean, it's too much like, uh, that's dangerous to me. Like, uh, I didn't, I didn't need to be getting into the, uh, recycle crafting. That, that seemed, whew. That's okay. I mean, for those that like recycle crafting, I'm glad you do, because holy crap, the markup on those is ridiculous. But no way on that for me. I'm like too intimidated by that crap. Some guy over here, he's being smart about it. Wait, I'm trying to narrow us in on where I'm supposed to actually be. That guy is tree farming. I always tell people like, if you do one thing that will help not gimp your guy, it is tree farming. I'm gonna do this outer ring like this. Then we will go to an area where it's easier to just know we're on new fertile territory because I like that kind of mining. I don't like having to anal grid mine like this. It's not as fun to me. And I do know that there's actually uh, program overlays that you can put to where it low keeps track of your stuff I think those also need not even gonna argue okay so but we did pretty good there but uh I am not into overlays yet I'm actually probably not gonna ever get into too many overlays on my games I do think they're neat and I've seen other people using them during their streams, so you kind of get an idea of what the heck's there. That's a lot of Listerium. Let's check how much we've burned up our amp and stuff real quick. So we've burnt almost not crap. That's why I like lighter amps. So like a big amp, it'll be burning up eight pads, 16 pads, stuff like that per drop. 
and I'm not gonna say that if you don't like so if you know what's there if you know where it is a 16 pen amp is just you going to grab some stuff okay that's not the same thing this is exploratory and so a light amp is cool skill buff is neat let's let's see what we're dropping we're at 6880 right let's move up here okay so 1.2 right that's not bad at all okay so we're gonna get out of here real quick let's see I'm thinking so those islands have good stuff but in all honesty this strip through here I really like and then through here is where ha it has one of the weird ones that we need for crafting a bunch of crap. In all honesty, what's the range here? I might be able to just teleport us there. I'm not sure my range. I mean, it's pretty good range. I need to upgrade this. And when we overload, we'll just load it into a vehicle and send it back somewhere. We're not going to. Very edge of the continent. See, look. Boom. I should have stepped over there so that we are more likely to be for sure actually on the continent. Okay, so. Secretly, those aren't that aggressive. This is a great area. We're going to get some caves tonight for sure. I guess some more Listerium. They're really liking to give us Listerium today. I'm not sure if we're on any power missions for mining Listerium. I mean, like, there's also the long term mining missions, you know, where it's like the tier one, where they're like, mine this much and you get tier one, mine this much. But I don't remember which all materials are included in those. And so. That'd be random. And if we get too much junk, one of the advantages is we decide that we're not even going to like load Listerium. We're just going to trade terminal it out. I have a portable trade terminal on this so that we could actually just load it out. So like, see, we're at an even number right there. It's going to be much easier to just run across the planes, keeping track of it this way. And honestly, we're missing a huge area if you think about these two circles. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to do the, the math on it. But by not overlapping in a grid circle, we're missing absolutely a giant area too. It's okay. I don't like overlapping. I think it's wasteful. I just legitimately wonder what percentage of a surface area are we missing? to avoid overlapping what percentage, you know what I'm saying? Might not even be a big deal. If somebody wants to do the math on that, and it is a actual math person that does math like that. Um, but that, that's one of those problems that doesn't sound fun to me right now. Although my OCD is going to have that on my brain for a while. So I'll probably be Googling it after the thing. Not doing it. Googling it. Maybe nobody's even worked that out for us. Oh, for sure. Now I'm thinking about it. No, for sure. It's just the difference between two areas. And so what I would so you would do that surface of a area on a circle thing. And then you would get the surface area of uh, just the square and you would just minus them. I'm still not going to do it. Right the second for sure. Um but it was really bugging me for a second. So it wouldn't be as hard as I was thinking it would be, you guys. 
I can't do it in my head, obviously, as I'm streaming. That would be too much stuff going on, honestly. Yeah, it's too much stuff. And I can't go up that. that that's too big of a thing. So we're going to hope that this slope is. If not, I'm going to pull out a helicopter. We'll just fly up this freaking thing. Because in all honesty, I hate being unable to make it up a cliff like that. We could drop another mining probe, though, for sure. We've moved enough. Yeah. Oh, this one? Because it's it's going to last forever. The TT one would burn out on me for sure. And sometimes I have a, a thing in it for some reason. I don't remember which one I use. Sometimes it's an eco one. But this one pulls bigger loads than the little TT one for sure. And if I get a global or something like that... Oh, yeah, I'm okay with that. I I get you. I don't like the TT ones. Um, but I do get you. The TT ones burn out on me, and that annoys the crap out of me. And so, at one point, I actually, when I was trying to mine more, was carrying more than one type, because I had more than one burn out on me. Like, I've never hit a tower yet, so... But I've hit some pretty high um, yields. And a normal extractor on a good run burns out. Like they just burn out like fast. And so this is more expensive, but it's 50 pets. So I don't have to worry about it burning out in a single thing. I'm going to just repair it anyway. And so I don't take into account that stuff when I'm doing stuff at all. Yeah, I hate low TT items. If you're going out to do something, you want enough TT to go out and do a big enough run to have a chance to get a global and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to just say that there are some of the really weird low TT guns that last for freaking ever, right? So that is not the same thing. But on a lot of the mining stuff, that goes deep or the like extractors and stuff like that if you're pulling a large amount of stuff they burn out way faster than you would think and so I like on mining stuff specifically bigger TT stuff that goes deep yeah CDF guns last forever there's a few other things I had one of those that was just ridiculous I was absolutely proud of that yeah, those are great guns. Honestly, these little um, cap guns, they last forever too. That thing I've been blasting away for a while. I made a few of those. They're amazing weapons. For one second, we were in PvP. Did you see that? Bleep. Weird. CDF guns are absolutely great weapons. I love those. And so, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different weapons that they don't have almost any overall uh, trade terminal value. But per blast, they almost, they don't burn any uh, of their actual value off almost. They're actually amazing. And so that's not the same deal on that stuff. Hold on one second. I'm going to grab a Kleenex real quick because my nose is killing me from gardening this weekend. And we're going to grab this six. I don't use that wheel of stone in anything yet. This other stuff we use on a a regular basis so here's the path I'm going to take and I'm going to explain why 
So I frequently will go this path because I have done very well on this path. It's literally up over this ridge. I did one time get a killer global over here in front of that weird robot base thing. Maybe we'll go there too. We'll, we'll hit that too. For sure. We'll just... I've got a, a considerable amount of this. And then I got a extra amp. Because we didn't want to have a single amp. And so this mining tool will just burn forever by the way. And we have 137 droppy drops. So we just completed more missions too. So we're going to be collecting a bunch of skill at the end of this whole adventure. I assume that's some kind of animal up there that would kill us. Oh no, that's a dude up there killing something for sure. Good for him. Should have paid attention to what our... Uh... I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I, I lost my train of thought, honestly. I was trying to recover it for a second, pull it off, but it wasn't going to happen. Oh well. So are you guys enjoying your... Uh, I, so I know a lot of people won't be watching this specifically on Labor Day. You know what I'm saying? But is everybody enjoying their Labor Day? Yeah. Hope you are. I'm actively enjoying mine. It's kicking butt. I'm going to go to a barbecue later. Are we slowing down? Did we get overweight? We got overweight, guys. We're not vastly overweight, though. What's this guy hunting? Sorry. A stalker, huh? Drop right there. By the way, this is a great area to hunt stuff. We'll go on a tour through it while we, we uh, do our stuff. There's stuff that way and stuff, but I don't go that way that much. Um, and I'll show you why. And I'll show you guys we're, we're real close to that thing, but I'm going to show you guys how to use a vehicle anyway to send stuff back. We're going to place our vehicle. We're going to open up the inventory of the vehicle. We're going to take and we're going to say, what's our heaviest thing? 18 kilograms of that. A whole bunch of kilograms of that. Let's just grab a bunch of this stuff too. I know. This looks cheap. But we don't want to carry this around with us, right? And we'll get more stuff. Maybe not the exact same stuff. We have one pound, two pounds. Two kilograms. That's that's right there. That, that's pretty brimmed up. So now, we're going to click this button that recalls all vehicles placed to our storage bank. Now our weight just dropped because we've dropped that vehicle. It's back at our storage. So when we're done mining, we can totally grab that. So you know those big... Um, it's a big vehicle. It's a big vehicle, guys. It's preferred by miners real miners not not like me where I kind of mine right so if like you're a pro miner you carry around two or three of these bigger vehicles the uh, armored truck looking ones right they have a giant cargo capacity on them and when you fill up you just drop one of those and you send it back and then you keep mining until you filled up like more than one of them and I hate to say it but that's honestly like the best way to if you're just going to be out there mining all freaking day is you can just send stuff back using vehicles 
you can also do that if you're a hardcore hunter. So I'm not trying to, to say that there's not hunters probably that use it too. Um, for a lot of hunting stuff, because a lot of people TT the stuff out, a portable trade unit is just as good for continuous hunting, you know what I'm saying? And a portable repair unit. Because hunters, I think, their issue is that they're always burning out their equipment. That stuff's expensive. I have pretty reasonable cost equipment because I don't hunt like huge massive mobs that take a million points to take them down and have a regen of a bunch. By the way, we're going to be coming up on a ridiculous mob if it's still here. I noticed that they added a new series of those mechs called Rooted, right? And the rooted mechs are the only ones that certain things come off of. I don't really know what exactly is going on with that. Because I haven't, like, jumped on trying to kill a rooted mech. And I'll show you one if it's over here. Pretty sure it is, in all honesty, guys. It would whip the crap out of me. So we're not... Why can't I mine? Is the fact that they put a rooted mech over here made it where this is not mineable? Or was on a bad slope? Okay, so the yesterday, or last week, there was a rooted mech over in here. Do rooted mechs randomly appear around the island? I don't know. Oh no, there he is! Look at that! I told you guys. So here's one of the locations for these guys. I'm gonna be honest, he looks like he'd kill us. 79th level. Group mob. I got a scanner on us. Let's scan him. If he kills me... Oh. Oh, yeah, he's hostile, guys. Oh, no, is he just walking right past us like we don't even matter? Hold on, let's scan this guy. Holy crap! Oh, yeah, I don't have even enough ped in ammo to take a freaking mob down that has 2,500 stamina. I mean, like, this stuff, not that impressive. Uh, the strength, 210 strength, that's impressive, actually, guys. But that's, that's insane. That is absolutely epic. Oh, yeah, we're not even messing with him. Okay, moving on to mining. How many guys do you think we'd have to have to take down that rooted mob? That seems like a serious group kill event type thing just to be honest I'll probably have to throw on armor to get through these guys I might have to kill some people too yeah let's let's throw on armor let me make sure robot hunting armor we're good yep okay. that's just in case they engage we know that they will though let's look. I'll just kill enough to get us through. Right. That's what, what all addicts say. I'll just do enough to get us through the day. We'll start dropping again right over there. Okay, see? So, there's slimes over that way. There's crystal petty big ones over there. These robots in the seventh level ones there. Crabs over here, right? Um, those guys right here, these guys are a little bit more, hey, did you mean to pick a fight with that? For me at least. I mean, some of you guys are probably like, nah, I would waste those. I, I pay attention to if I'm messing around them at all because sometimes they will just beat the crap out of me. Good thing we put on our armor. Sometimes those crabs are angry. By the way, these guys, they drop what you need to do that daily armor mission. I should kill some just because they're there. We'll use our repairable chip though. We won't, we won't throw down on irresponsible behavior. This is overkill. It doesn't even make sense to use on these guys. 
told you these guys were angry. He was gonna come at us before we actually threw a fireball. I don't know if he can get through our armor either. Let's see. So this is just the Arc Ranger armor with a uh, serpent plate on it. In which I'm planning on getting a set of uh, the Imperium officer plate, to be honest, to augment it as a thing. Unless I'm fighting some with acid damage specifically, because that's really the only difference. And then I want to get the Imperium uh, plates up to augmented, which will make this set a really good robot hunting robot kit for low level like robots. He's hitting us a little bit. See that? That's a little bit damaged. I should probably just blast this guy. This is... Took way longer than I expected. Okay, we're gonna try to avoid having to deal with them. Because I don't want to actually, like, spend that much time blasting crabs on a non-blasting crab mission. They're not that aggro-y. Obviously, those guys might not be either. I don't know. Let's... Oh, no. It did attack me. Okay, we're just going to kill everything now. So, there's a lot of good mobs to hunt right in this zone. Oh, another one? But these are obviously more aggressive than the crabs, for sure. Okay. I have to go by him, so we're just going to kill him ahead of time. If you go down the coast, you don't have to deal with any of this crap. By the way, here's the old Pantaleans right here. Look at those guys. Think we'd have to actually switch armor? Probably. Those guys gotta hit harder. Oh, you guys, I have low impulse control, and that's a temptation. Do we kill one of those just because we kill one of those? Just to see how tough they are? This armor's not great, but we have the ability to sh switch over to the other armor if we have to. I mean, 29th levels. What are those? Alphas? Guys. Okay, I'm gonna impulse control myself and we won't hunt the Alphas today. But that is gonna have to be a thing now. So that's where the alphas are, if you guys are wondering. Or those guys, those guys will rock us a little bit. We're not set up for 40 we're first level, like, sky dudes. These guys are easy to kill, these gales. They're kind of cool, too. I do not have a high codex rank on them, so I probably should make a day of just hunting them. Our avoidance is getting up there though, look at that. That's that's not bad. I'll show you guys how I train that too at this point. I mean not not today. That's not a today thing. That's how I'll show you why I come to this planet to power level and stuff like that. Besides just like the skill missions and stuff like that. You can see on the mining part. And by the way, if you know any planet well enough, there's stackable missions and stuff like that. I just happen to know where and I'm, be, I'm actually qualified to do all the stackable mining missions here. So it's easier for me to shoot up stuff. Plus, the fact that one of the mining missions gives arc badges. And we're attempting to get to 600 arc badges so that we can uh, make augmented... Uh, 
plates, basically, is the big reason. Like, flat out, augmented plates. If you look at the augmented Imperium plates, they're absolutely ridiculous. Now, perfected Imperium plates are absolutely off the chart. It's just that... That's, we'd have to make a plan over the next couple years. That is some serious what the crap is going on over there. Is somebody over there? Or are they shooting themselves? Oh. In some of my games, if I click up the map, I can see where the other people are. Okay, so we're going to go up over this hump. And then we'll be mining through these ghost cities. They're kind of cool, actually. So, mid this hump, I almost always get a hit. And sometimes at the top, I get a hit. On the way down, there's a couple locations where I'm consistent in getting a hit. And so, we'll try to kind of keep it where I know I've hit stuff before. A little bit right now. Maybe right about here, probably. <clears throat> and you never know if somebody else is buying your area and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? It's impossible to know that. And I don't know how long to wait between each area when I hit an area, either. And so, sometimes I think the fact that I fly back and forth between different planets is actually helpful maybe to me. I mean, I'm not all the way sure, but I really like the different planets. They have vastly different missions. And some of the difference in the mobs, they, like, they make a significant difference in the evolution of your like character and stuff. Tolan, way more mutants, right? The amount of mutant hunters there, ridiculous. Compared to the other planets, if you think about it, how many mutants? And I mean, they, like, if you do the swamp mission stuff all the time on uh, Calypso, then that's different. I really like that uh, mission set, by the way. Honestly, we should organize some kind of day event on that. I don't know if you guys know about the swamp creatures and stuff like that near all the bases. But uh, they're absolutely a great um, little mini boss. I mean, I don't know what to consider stuff like that all of the time. By the way, you know I told you guys that one time I got a really good global. Not an HOF, a really good global. But it was good, good. Like, super, like, holy crap. Um was in front of that place and so we'll probably swing back through there I don't know how much they've changed things because they do change things guys in games all the time and so sometimes I, I don't know if, if we're mining the same area that we mined two years ago on a planet if it's even relevant what we once got there We'll mine up here, don't worry. And obviously, if it's off the side too much, we'll have to claim it. Um, you can summon claim on mining things, and I'm only saying that because when I first started playing this game, right, I did not know that you could summon a claim. And um, I was out mining for one of my first times at um, a place called um, Nia's Place, is where it is. And people used to, like, farm or sweat the emblem axes there and stuff, right? And uh, I got a claim, and it was in a weird spot that was not grabbable. Hold on, we're going to jump down here. On this bench, I usually get something, so we're going to drop here. Not all the time, but, you know, usually. And I'll show you where I consistently get something, too. Kind of a weird spot. I've showed people before. One of the places that I wouldn't um, be too afraid of using a big amp, honestly, you know, 
now, because I'm telling you guys where it is, I should be afraid of using a big M, right? Because I'm like, hey, right here. So the odds that somebody else hits it is higher, but who knows? Are you going to be using the same machine as me? I don't know. By the way, I'm trying to get the blueprint for an even more powerful machine that I'm within the zone of, of using. It's just I'm having a, a hard time seeing one in the auction house, to be honest. Okay, so where we're going. Oh, thank you very much, by the way. So we're going right here. And it's where these gals are. Right here. See this horseshoe? See, I think if you guys have watched this before, you guys know that I've, I've mined this before. So this little horseshoe area right here. I don't like, I'm not trying to mess with them, right? We're not trying to jump right there. We're just trying to jump between all these big groups. I've got stuff down here and there on that bench right there consistently. Now, I've got a global in the little, like... By the way, if we pick a fight with these scales, we could be in trouble because I don't remember what level they are. Oh, yeah, they're destruction vortex dudes. Those are the ones that will kill us. I'm trying to determine if I think he's hostile on us. I feel that they added extra thickness since the last time I was in here, guys. A little nerve-wracking. This is a lot of destruction vortexes in here. Oh, guys. Okay. So here's what, what this situation is right here. This is why we're just... Oh. Okay, so watch this. We're going to have to do this smart. Don't worry. We're, we're good still. We just have to be smart about what we do now. Okay, we've got that up. We're going to make it to our thing before one of them decides to aggro on us. Ooh. So guys, they added extra thickness. That's extra thick naughtiness in there. Like, I didn't know that it was going to be all mobbed like that. So here's how we're handling this. We're going to land right here. That's, that's when you know. This is the other reason vehicles matter. We're going to pop our thing here. Okay, and then we're going to get close enough that we have summon claim as an option. Was it this far in on them? Not liking this, guys. Are we going to have to fly to a different side to summon claim this? This is looking a little hostile. Okay, let me look this over. Also, I probably should repair my thing. This is the, the drama of being a miner. Let's look at this, guys. Okay, so this is fixable. Dude, this is good. Okay, here's how we're fixing this. We're gonna... Uh, probably should land that a little better. That's a horrible landing job, guys. Sorry. I'd rather it fall that way than back into those guys, you know what I'm saying? Nobody's actually up here. We're within summoning. Sorry it takes 30 seconds. It is literally the best option you have in that event, though. So they thicken that up. So look. In one of my last videos on this planet, for sure I probably would have showed that area. That definitely has been mob densityed. In which, when they mob density up your uh, area where you know for a fact something is, that's kind of... They didn't have to brood us up like that, I'm just saying. Ah. Uh.
Yeah, that's brute. So, that's what I'm talking about. There is a location right there. It used to be easier to get. Honestly, at this point, you might be better off dropping up here on the ridge and just summoning it to you. Here's how we're going to get around this crap. Sometimes the gravity and the everything work up. Oh, see, now we... They need to adjust some stuff so you can do some good jumps off things. We're almost over to the little, like, uh... What do we call it? The ruins? They also need to have one of these that has a greater thrust magnitude to it so that it can shove itself up the steeper objects. I'll show you the, the data. I think they give the uh, power some crap on it. Yeah. I don't know how they, I mean, I don't know if that's accurate determining because I you would think a hundred and something horsepower would kick us up over anything we wanted to go over, but and I don't know. I love those little like hoverboards though I think those are awesome so we're gonna go around this stuff well look at what we got duster workers a whole grip of them if we have to we'll kill them we'll probably have to to be honest by the way if you guys are looking for the downed pig it's right there I we'll had to kill a couple of them I'm sure these guys don't I, I have massive hostileness, but probably a little bit. Oh, boom. We need some of this anyway. So I feel a lot of the people that come to this planet are kind of touristing it. Which is normal. I even tourist it sometimes. But I live here a lot too, so I don't know. Semi, semi residential. Um, so, a lot of the materials, because of those dailies, have good markup compared to other generic materials. It's kind of one of the advantages of this planet. We're not worried about that, that teleporter spot, we're worried about this city over here. But I do kind of want to test one of these guys. Let's kill somebody anyway, right? Oh, he knifes people. You know what, guys? I was totally expecting to be shot at for some reason by this guy. Not nice. Slice attacked. That's cool. Obviously, his buddies aren't high aggro, or they would have came over and helped him and stuff, but no. Just realized how thirsty I was. Creepy wind sounds, right? It's a pretty big little area. I know that was an oxymoron, but size wise, it's not horrible. Some of these cities are uh, PvP, but for the most part, I don't really think that they're PvP lootable. I think they're just PvP. Except the one that you have to already have took it the toxic antidote stuff to even go in. And so that's kind of different. That you're kind of aware.
kind of checking where we're at, I think. See, we've almost done nothing. I mean, like, we're burning our amp up, but that Ziplex... A Ziplex lasts for pretty much ever. I think I have all the stuff together, and I have the actual blueprint for the Ziplex C20. Um, I just can't remember why I didn't start making them yet. There could be an actual reason. Maybe I didn't feel I was qualified within the right zone to make it efficiently or something. I just don't remember what the deal was. There's usually a reason, though, you know. Are we all the way back on, on these guys? Just gotta make sure. Is this a new... Oh no, this is the down spear. Do I have that already? Yeah. Okay, so there's the down spear, you guys. So they hit. Hey, how you doing, fire? I hope you're doing good, man. Hope you guys are all doing good. Oh, there's a looter. So, so these are higher level ones right there. Oh, weird. Yeah, I don't think that they're consistent about notices on things, to be honest. Uh, we're going to find out how aggro-y that 34th level looter guy is. Oh, that's Latyrian dust. So that stuff, straight up, that's important. Yes, I'm using the Ziplex Z20 with a single amp on it. So we're getting 593 meters down. And it has a depth amp on it. One. When it gets bigger, I'll, I'll drop depth amps all the way up. I'm thinking about switching um, to a Ziplex 25 because I did get the blueprint for it. I craft all the subcomponents for it too. No, I, I don't have any. I have an amp on it, no extender. Maybe I should be buying extenders. I craft these, so I don't usually throw an extender on them. I've never used an extender, you guys. I even have some blueprints for them. Maybe I should use them. I don't know. This is a good place to mine either. This, this is right here. I think to be in the middle of a lot of bad guys. We'll find out their aggroiness. Look at that. So this is... Oh, okay. Well, I can make some extenders. I don't remember how many I have. It's like one of the ones that you randomly get sometimes as a blueprint when you're crafting something. I don't even remember what it is. It's one of the things that you wouldn't think would just pop an extender blueprint. But sometimes I just don't even know what to do with some of the blueprints we pop, honestly, guys. Like, I want to make everything that we pop, but... It's just not realistic, and then sometimes they just have so many subcomponents for it all. And so I have to make decisions on what we're actually going to make sometimes. It's very... Honestly, I wish I didn't have to make decisions on what we had to make. But also, some of it won't move in the auction house if you don't watch it. My little store only has like 50 little slots in it. Um, when you post stuff to the auction house... They'll let you only have 50 slots per planet of stuff. I know. That rage. I'm not, I mean, that doesn't come into the issue most of the time, but... If you imagine how much stuff you can get padlocked making everything, it's, it's a lot of padlocking, crafting stuff. And so, but I'll make some extenders. I might even have blueprints for extenders on this planet, I don't even know. 
sometimes I pop blueprints and I just sell them because I realized, hey, realistically, I'm, I'm never going to get back to that thing. And then there's some items that maybe we one day make, hopefully, that I've kept. But they're like an aspirational. See, we just got another mission now. Like one day, one day, right? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't remember the last time I popped one, but I've definitely popped them before and have some, thank gosh. Um, I have to give some of my location in a second. They're going to be definitely messaging me. Watch. We're, we're literally closing in on like the last little bit of that Zen Psyche Master. By the way, does anybody know where to summon the Sky Wraith? Um, or what they're talking about with that will? You know how there's supposed to be some kind of will? Just asking. Nobody's been able to solve it yet. So... Even the other people's videos, they don't know either. And I've got messaged by people in which they've specifically asked. And I want to finish out the mission. Um, Zen, who's online right now, he's literally helped us uh, sweat a bunch of this stuff. Along with a person named Burger um, something has helped us also. I'll give credit to everybody. So Zen who also has a YouTube channel. And then I assume these are in alphabetical order when people aren't online. Burger Baby has also sweat a ton and helped facilitate getting this done. And so I was super excited about that. Let's, I wanna make sure I, I zap us to the right area. Okay, so yeah, right here is where we're trying to zap. Baby, yeah, let's zap right here. This looks good, right here about that could be in the middle of something, for all I know. I think it is, but we'll find out. Okay. So, by the way, there's a good tree um, dragon dudes right over there. I'm trying to figure out exactly where I just zapped us to. Okay, so there's, there's the little, uh, that area? Is swamp dudes that happen to be um, giant slimes. I like them. They're giant though. They would kick my butt. I mean, I'm sure there's some normal ones in there, but and these are 70 something levels, so obviously they would they would do some damage. So we're gonna go down this way around the thingy majiggy that way, in which we should be able to get. Um, I can't remember which uh, element it is. This erdium. Which, by the way, people like that stuff. It goes into a bunch of things for some reason. I mean, like, it's good stuff. Honestly, now that I'm looking at it, I see where we are. So this is going to be these guys and lesser ones this whole way through here, probably. So we don't have to worry about them. I'm going to check our weight. We're obviously overweight again. We're going to mine to there, then not drop it off. Because the trick is I'm trying to keep track of what we have. Nah, I don't really care. It doesn't matter. So these lesser ones right there, these panelians and stuff like that, that's what we're going to have to move past. 29th level alphas, maybe. We'll go right through there. These guys, they're not that aggro -y. for being so big. You would think they'd be like seriously hateful dudes. But you can be within reasonable distance to them without them just charging you. No, did I just say that? Now he's going to charge us. I'm going to see is he charging us actually or is this... Now he was just moving around. That made me nervous though. 
and I was like, is this guy going to really make me look bad like that? He's still pissed off. We got close enough that we pissed him off. Right? Did you not think, hey, what the heck? These guys I don't trust as much as those guys normally. Yeah, see, that guy, he's probably actually mad at us. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill a bunch of stuff to get through here, you guys. Let's do this. None of them are as cool as our... We still don't want hit by you. That, that, it'll jack up our little skateboard. See, we did piss him off. For sure. So this is the area where I like hunting. These are 16s, and there's going to be some littler ones in here somewhere. Like some 12s or some crap like that. Right here. These little guys, the puties. So this area right here, you still get good stuff off of these weeks. Not like ridiculous stuff. But you're still able to get some stuff off of the weeks. Is he still chasing us? Everybody always trying to kill us. Okay. Sorry that happened. Let's drop a probe real quick. I'll find out how much ped and stuff, but honestly... Oh, they got another mission. We're gonna collect some serious points. We're pissing off creatures today. This is a really good hunting area, by the way. For mid, like, low level, not for, like, hey... Honestly, and there's some ridiculous stuff over here that maybe wouldn't be such a good idea. It would actually be a bad idea. Like, for me, maybe if you bought custom plates and you bought whatever armor is that has, like, ridiculous, uh, let's find out what we have. There is. I really do like it, too, and it is a ridiculous amount of dailies on Cyrene. It's kind of hilarious. I just want to get our ped value amount right here. So we're at 116 ped there. Oh, you know what, what we should do? Let's just get our total stuff so we can get our vehicle back because we're going to want to use it again. Sorry, guys, that's the wrong thing. That's that's the stash of blueprints. That's inventory. Boom. By the way, this is the stuff we're collecting. We already have it in place to upgrade our stuff into an Imperium uh, plate, the officer plates. The thing is, it's a lot more work than just getting some of the stuff. It's, it's absolutely a bunch of stuff. Okay, we're going to merge all stuff. See where we're at currently on this stuff. 178 pet and stuff. That's where we're at. We're going to just drop it off. We're not really actually concerned with that right now. But that'll, if we remember that, and I won't, so if you guys, I actually just checked that for you guys. I mean, we'll be at some number later, but maybe I'll remember 178 pet, but I don't actually want to pretend that I'm likely to be the best person about that, just to be fair. So over here, though, I'll show you why this is awesome. So right here in this jungle area, which makes no sense that there's no harvestable trees. And I'll check to make sure that's still true. Oh, right there. Boom. So this is the message. I already know I'm going to get this message. I knew he was going to be on today. So here's your toxic jellies. By the way, he has an excellent channel, and he literally covers this game as a, uh, what you call it, free-to-play player. I had to think what it was called for a second. 
and so uh, legit. So over in this, you're gonna find a bunch of those beetles, right? Like not just these beetles, but the actual brown beetles usually too. I had to look around in here. It's a, a really good hunting area. They're lower level. When I hunted the crap out of this area, I felt I got a lot of purple and um, pink, uh, what would you call it, paint, in which I collected it and took it back to Calypso and I sold it as a big stack, which I'm sure somebody has a very cool purple pink something over it, but I have an idea. Okay, so we're going to start over here and go in that way. That's where we're going to find the erdium. We're going to probably move past the jumbo giant slimes. Maybe the giant pristine. Well, not pristine. That's a thing we farm. But there's big flowers that are more serious than the other flowers. There's ones we avoided that too, by the way. There's a chance we have to kill some here. I'm gonna get this and then we'll kill him. I probably should do it in reverse of that. I'm just gonna be honest. Okay. So definitely this this armor totally takes his stuff though. So after I finish through this Z20 though, I'm planning for sure to switch over to the to a bigger machine that goes just slightly deeper. So the issue of why I'm trying to get deeper and deeper <coughs> is one, you're competing against less people in an area. I mean, how many people come through and mine an area and are going at different depths really doesn't matter to be honest. But for two, some of the more valuable materials, they're not even found until you get to a certain depth. And in all honesty, even with this machine right now, with even multiple amps on it, we're barely going to be overlapping the area that you can farm Dunkel at. Now, Dunkel's only at a couple locations in the entire galaxy, so that's not like a, a daily issue that we have. But reality-wise, there's other super valuable materials. And if you actually find out what depth that they're consistently farmed at, by the way, these guys are cool as heck, you find out that they're super deep. It's not even like, it's not in the range of, uh, hey, I could pull that with a trade terminal item or even... Even this actually cannot pull all the materials. There's materials that do not start until they're vastly deeper than what we're going, statistically. And so, that's not a big deal. That's a good thing, because that means some guy out there that's running that bigger machine, he gets to go and mob up on that, which is awesome, right? But... As you get to bigger machines and push out further, that, that hooks you up a lot better, in my opinion. We'll switch amps in a second. We're not, we're not done yet. We've, we've got tons of droppy drops left anyway. We haven't even finished through our stuff. But we're getting some good skill level. Honestly, I would consider that my drilling probably is lagging behind my mining, which is kind of... Maybe. Let's look. Let's see if that's true. Right, guys? Two. Six. I'm going to blame that on... There's an area near Silver Ridge on Calypso. Right off that slope. That's right above area number six or eleven, right? Oh, I'm okay with the fact that there we're uh, using a big driller. But uh, 
one of the things that I did is too much zinc mining because I was working up one of those zinc iron mining missions. And right off of Silver Ridge, there's a giant ink deposit or zinc deposit. And so basically, I would run down the little thing and I would grab zinc almost every day for a while. And so it kind of was going to disproportion my, my stuff a little bit. I'm okay with that. We could also just go and focus on just E material mining for a long time and balance it back, but I don't really need it balanced. Just aspirational, hey, I was kind of curious. That zinc mission, um, where you just mine up through each level, or any of those, in all honesty, the really like common materials, like what is that I call the... Uh, the little island chain right off the new barrier. I'm trying to think what it's called. It's on planet Calypso. It's some small islands, and it's right off of Port Atlantis, right? So it's easy as crap to mine the really common stuff there. Like if you're just trying to work through one of those little missions, Yeah. Yeah, right on. That area is easy as crap to mine. I think it's easy to mine. That island chain and stuff like that. When I was new, I would go there and mine after I started figuring out how to actually mine. Oh, it's all common. 100%. Not an argument on that at all. So here's why... <coughs> It was worth doing because they had those iron missions for mining, right? And yes, the stuff's common, but if you just went down there with the amp, even a light amp on something, and just started hitting stuff up, you would work through those little missions and you would rack up a bunch of good skill points. I do agree. The fact that the stuff was all common stuff was annoying. I didn't like that, but... Reality-wise, is when you're a new, you're just literally trying to get not sucky enough to start making some money. See, that's what I was meaning is the idrium. I knew we'd get that over here. But yeah, I get the frustration with the common material crap. That's one of the reasons I'm trying to get up to the Ziplex 25 or Ziplex 30. Or... There's a different series of miner that I, I saw that uh, some dude was using, and he showed me his kit. I don't remember what it is by the second. I do keep on checking the auction house for that specific uh, mining kit blueprint, but I haven't seen it. And I haven't honestly seen somebody else selling the actual kit either. And so... Uh, Right now, I don't remember its name, sadly. But it it drops deep, deep. Like, for my qualified level for its version, too. It's just not a common blueprint. And so... And it must not be one that people are feel comfortable just busting out all the time for people because I don't see them in the marketplace. But that dude, he definitely had one. And it looked, it looked like it was whipping my stuff's butt. And so I'm not saying that there's not some things that do that. A lot of them will burn more, but like a, a good amount of ped per like pool though. And I feel that the one we're using right now is super efficient for what we're doing. But in all honesty, if we can get a... Uh, a kit that's average drop in 900 like meters that changes things guys that's that's not even the, the same level especially i guess if we put some good equipment on it to like get it to extend out as far as we can so we can cure it up as bunch drop a bunch of depth amps on it maybe one or two range amps on it and have it going like super insane deep and wide go to one of the areas that has some super valuable material and then we'd be murdering it.
And so I still consider us scaling right now because we can't consistently average depth in the zone of like, I don't know. I, we, we're average depth easy into the Sirenium stuff. It's like things like Dunkle and stuff like that that we're just barely approaching average depth zones anywhere near, you know, which is a giant issue. We're going to collect a bunch of skills, though. And a couple daily tokens, for sure. I don't want to look at what's going on. Location-wise, okay. I noticed some people out here in this area will just keep dropping these and then they go back and pick them up off of the map later. I'm not I'm not that good about knowing that I would for sure get everything picked up off the map. So I don't use that method necessarily. You know what I mean? I do see people like it though. It, it's a good method. Am I running the right way still? Yeah. I'm a little bit too much, uh, hey, do I trust myself to actually go back and pick up everything just because we did that. I'm trying to make sure we're staying in a consistent way. And we might be approaching these giant, um, the big giant crabs, to be honest. In which, I'm going to tell you, if you guys have never hunted these giant crabs, besides the fact that they take a whole bunch to, like, take them down. I'm going to tell you, I don't know what that sound was. I didn't like it. Kind of made me think we are about to get attacked by some kind of creature. Sure, I thought we were getting attacked, actually. Okay, maybe we head down this way a little bit. Somebody else might be kicking the crap out of this area before us. I don't know. We're going reasonably deep. We usually don't have too much overlap. I haven't seen what machines everybody else is using necessarily, you know what I'm saying? Somebody could be using our exact machine in our area, which isn't ours really, but this is a good area. And so I would almost wonder if somebody's already hit. Dang, they're brutinous today, right here. They were doing so kind to us, and then all of a sudden, boom. Hey, how are you doing today? You having a good day? Batch Files Gaming, that's an interesting name. For a second, I was hoping we got a global here. Okay, so we just broke an amp. That's not a big deal. Switch out amps real quick. Wanted to make sure. Detach. Drop in. <coughs> Hope you guys are all kicking some butt today, man. Okay. So those are low-level impies. Those would be good ones for maybe the daily. I don't know. Sneak down that way. It's going to be a good, for sure. I'm kind of surprised they haven't gave us a global yet, but in all honesty, we can't always just expect globals just because. It would be nice if we could, though, right? Definitely got a crap load of uh, skill points out of this run, though. 
So when this machine burns out, the goal is, though, to switch over to the Ziplex 25. Or, honestly, I don't think we'll be in the zone of... Uh, Uh, what what level specifically are you, and where where do you mine? Honestly, what planet? Because knowing what you're mining for, and and having a kit that matches your stuff, is super important. But dailies are super freaking. You need the the skill points from dailies, and honestly, you need to go and you need to tree harvest. And I know it sounds like that's all I tell people to do, but tree harvesting is super important. Tree harvest. If you're level three, don't even yet. Here, I'm going to tell you why. We just got that. Something's going to come at me, I'm sure. So we'll have to deal with this. I'm going to pull something up, and I'm going to explain why I uh, tell you guys tree harvest all the time. Let me copy link this real quick. Just gonna take me one second. Okay, so I constantly tell people, hey, you should be tree harvesting. Hold on one second. I just wanna move my guy away far enough that we'll kill this thing. And then I'll show you guys why I'm constantly telling people tree harvest. If you don't tree harvest, you're probably gimping your character. The dailies are important. But I can tell you that you want to get to uh, at least level 5 or so, not even having anything to do with the uh, mining itself. Let me eliminate this as a lock. Sorry guys. Go to display capture. Okay. So if we're looking and this is a tree harvesting tool. All the tree harvesting tools pretty much give you the same skills. Tree harvesting, right? I'm making sure that this is actually over there too. Tree harvesting is super important. Oh crap. I don't think we're display capturing properly. Sorry. Now, now I apologize, guys. That black screen there for a second wasn't supposed to be there. Let me make sure that it's up here like this. Boom. I don't know. Are we display capturing? No. Oh, it was. I'm sorry. Okay, now... Sorry, I don't switch back and forth all the time, so I get discombobulated. So we've got intelligence, alertness, athletics, dexterity, and perception. These all go into your looter skills. But you look over here. You've got geology, resource gathering, which I actually have theories about, but I'm not really sure what, what it does exactly. But then you've got your analysis, and uh, then you've got biology, botany, the genetics, and zoology. So I get you, most of that has to do with uh, animal looting and stuff like that. But the geology and the perception don't have to. And those are things that are 16%. I don't even think, I think intelligence goes into mining actually too. Let's look real quick. Let's pull this, right? Perception. Pull this up. Look at this. So perception goes into surveyor. So survey is taking ground assessment. Geology is 20% of it. And then you're surveying. So it's that geology score is 20% of your stuff. And so intelligence Perception, you, serendipity is probably kind of nice too, but that's not a significant amount, in all honesty. I don't know. I think tree harvesting is important for people when they're attempting to, to build up their guy. Let me click off display capture. Um, it's not 
that I'm going to tell you it's the only thing that matters, but it matters a ton for if you're going to be uh, looting things, for sure. And it matters a ton, in all honesty, in my opinion, for tree harvesting. I don't know what that resource gathering technically supposed to do. And so I'm not going to pretend that I know for sure it affects it or not. I think it does, but that's literally just an opinion. And I hate to have an opinion in which it's it's a very loose opinion, guys. You know what I'm saying? It's not a, hey, I'm convinced for sure. But I do kind of think it might have some kind of impact. Who knows though, right? It's not listed that way. But the rest of that stuff for sure does directly go into that and so and then you're gonna use um, a uh, Ziplex 5 you're not gonna use a, a normal tool the Ziplex 5 is gonna go deeper there's actually multiple ones that you can use at your level do you know that I'll, I'll go when we're done with this run I'll show you some tools and we'll go over tools that can be used by low-level people to go deeper than other low-level people. But um, Silver Ridge, right off of the edge of Silver Ridge on Calypso, there is a entire field that I don't believe it was worth it every time I dropped uh, looking for drilling type stuff, like the E-Matter stuff. But every time I was just like trying to get just um, zinc, I did well on. So that's the thing. Some places have really good different types of density too. So mine the crap out of two or three areas at first. Oh. Okay, so I will re-explain anything that needs explained it. Okay, you, you, you let me know when you're back. They don't warn me on that. I have no idea when it's actually happening. It's kind of interesting. But they let me know I didn't do good at dropping ads. That's what they let me know. And they're like, hey, if we can just control your ads... We'd like to just control your ads. And I said, okay, you control my ads. And then all of a sudden, they do better at it than me by far. Like, I hate to say that. Like, I sucked at it. Because I just don't pay attention to that stuff during when I'm trying to play a game. Okay, so at the end, I'm going to show you different tools, plus we're going to also actually check to see if the one blueprint that I'm trying to get. But there's different series of tools that, that are hard to actually make, but are makeable, right? Um, they're not that hard to make if you have all the stuff. It's just like annoying list of weird components and stuff. Including like the one we're trying to make like the Ziplex 25. I Think the only reason I didn't switch to Z Ziplex 25 already Was because there was either something that was going to be annoying Or I thought to myself well, that's that's going to be too expensive And I didn't have a confidence in our, our level of, of getting it done and I'll have to check what it was it might have just been a long time ago thing the last time we looked at it, to be honest, too. But the daily on any planet you're on, see these guys? These guys are pimp, and that swamp creeper is a beast. So that guy right there is 36 level swamp creeper. He's like a super swamp lurker. If you kill a crap load of these 25th level tide pods, He'll spawn. So these 25th level Tide Pods, I had a, either an HOF or a Global, and I can't remember off of them one time. And they're so slow that they won't get to us by the time it dies. Watch. We're going to drop one. We're only dropping one, but they have a lot of life, so prepare for that to be impressive. Okay, ready? Ready? 
So see how slow he is walking though? So if we just keep walking backwards, in fact, this one green dot over here, I'm kind of betting that that's what is going on here. These guys are excellent hunt though. But if you're doing enough damage, <coughs> you don't actually have to uh, have armor. Not all the time am I doing enough damage or don't get blocked a little bit. So I have armor when I'm hunting them normally, period. That one swamp creeper though, he, he's not the same deal. He's he's a killing machine. He he will come after you. He like literally wants to eat your face. There's not he's just like boom and all of a sudden he's on you and you're like crap. But he's killable. But you have to switch to your fancy armor. I don't remember what's over the ridge. But I guess we'll be fine now. I'm minding the crap out of this. This is a thick group. Look how big this is. This is not a few people, guys. Oh, this might be a... We had to pull something out and fly around something. Oh, no. These guys are mostly friendly. Ish. Okay. So if we don't really piss them off, we're pretty good mining directly in here. If one is right on one of these guys, though, we'll have to figure out what to do about it. Okay. There's some cold to ride. I use that in something I don't really want. It goes into stuff. Okay, we're going to slowly start moving our way through these guys. Probably to the south. All the creatures are kind of slightly different on aggro. See, look at that. Oh, see, that one's pissed now. So that's different. That one's mad. So is he going to want to fight us? Do we have to kick his butt? We don't know. Yep. I'm going to have to switch armors, guys. Sorry. We're trying to avoid this situation. I'm going to drag him out. See how we got slightly too close there? I knew that was going to happen kind of too. I don't like it when we have to switch armors like that. But, this guy's big. So until we get through, we're just going to keep armored the way we are right this second. And attempt to avoid having to kill every other... Let's look, let's look for an easier path through, maybe. I was trying to keep us not killing anything over a certain level right this second. I mean... Okay. That was way too close, guys. That's inefficient dropping. Yeah, there was no chance there was going to be something right there. I also need to watch because if they start getting up into the 60-something level, that's not the, the same fight. You know what I'm saying? That's definitely a punch through. We'd be healing ourselves more than we'd be fighting. That becomes super inefficient. Okay, boom. This leads us. We're being followed, I think, by some. Okay, good. Okay. So I don't know why that other one decided to pick a fight. You see how non-aggressive that guy was? I think those guys are pretty aggressive, though, right there. 39. Still good.
So also, once you know where stuff is, use amps. Like, not when you have no clue where crap is. This is different. This is an exploratory amp. It's a light finder. And in all honesty, they give 4% skill bonus to us. So it's kind of a different story. But if you know where stuff is and you use amps, you kill it. Just saying. There's only a couple planets where, and a couple spots where I specifically know where something is to the confidence to where I would throw on a big amp like a 16 or a 14 or a D or something like that though. But people that mine all the time and like literally mine an area in which people aren't all the time there, right? They have their own little like niche market zone. Those people, they, they are logical to use an amp like a good amp because like why wouldn't you if you know where the stuff is right consistently but then I think you have to be patient know what cycle time is on it honestly at one point they, they ruined one of the one places I knew where the stuff was right so I'll tell you about a place they ruined on this planet for me so see this this volcano right here what the crap is this is this a new volcano did they add the extra volcanoes i'm so confused so this volcano right here i don't know what's up with this is that a new one got me confused they must have changed the map at some point so i used to teleport into the center of the pvp island volcano that used to be linked to this land bridge and i thought was the same island as this looks like they've separated it and made it its own island, which I'm not sure what I think about. Um, in the middle of that volcano, it used to not be lava, so you could teleport in there. So, I used to farm Cyrenium out of there. So then, one day, they switched some stuff. And one of the places that I knew where I could teleport in and get some Cyrenium safely and teleport out all of a sudden disappeared. I know, right? So sometimes when they do updates, you're like, you guys, why? Especially if like, they move a map around or something. Not going to say. And that only happens on some of the planets right now. I mean, like, obviously, if a map gets moved around on Calypso, it's a major thing, right? But map moves on uh, other planets aren't absolutely un unheard of. And sometimes it messes over your favorite mining spot, which is horrible. To be it's horrible. That guy's big, 30 second level on. I've got a lot of Zorn though today. Wait, they did change this map. What the crap has happened? I must have missed the update notes. This used to be its own island. This is all funky as crap, guys. This is, this is, they changed the map. I don't know what the heck. Oh, I was, I was thinking some stuff was weird here, but I didn't notice for sure until... Now, I'm for sure, for sure. Yeah, the map's been shifted around. I don't know what I think about that. Now I wonder if that volcanic island is mineable in a good way. That used to be PvP. And really good mining. So weird. That must have been the last update. And I didn't even notice till now. That's kind of hilarious. <laughs> okay, squirrel. Okay, so those things, somebody asked me about these the other day, right? And I've never hunted these. So I'm going to be honest. 
I don't know. I'm understanding that looks like a lot of electric damage, and I would assume that they would kill me, because I'm not electric damaged up. And that looks like a very cool mob, though. Gosh, that looks like a cool mob. Hold on. I'm going to get this, then we're going to scan one of these guys. Like a floating... What is that? Like a floating whisker fish, electric fish thingy? I don't actually know fish well enough. I should be taking fish guesses. Maybe there's a real fish named a squirrel for all I know. Not like that. I mean, obviously I know it's not going to be like a floating electric fish. But... Cool looking fish. Let's, let, let's check this guy out. If it zaps me dead, don't be shocked because sometimes I make bad decisions. <coughs> okay, so these guys look serious. Skrill, dude. Oh. Oh, holy crap, yeah. Damage potential, huge. Extremely high. I love it. Yeah. Now, I'm not set up for those. We would have a bad day on that, I'm sure. So you need something off of those for an upgrade to something. Um, it was, uh, who is it? Deepwater was asking me about it. So there's something that comes off of those. I don't know what it is, but uh, he's a better hunter than me. For sure. Higher level, at least, for sure. And I, I actually would argue probably... His setup for skills, he's probably racked more of the skills. Oh, that's what it's for? That makes sense. Okay, yeah, he just asked me about those guys the other day and, and what I thought about it. I'm like, I don't mess with them. I don't know crap about them. He's like, oh, well, I need to get some for some. And he told me what it was, but I didn't really know. I was pseudo paying attention because it wasn't something I was at doing right then. And I don't have an electric setup. So, I don't know how much damage they do. But I would bet that if you got Firewall 3 armor and um, electric plate, you'd, you'd be able to hunt them. Firewall 3 armor is significant electric protection on its own and then I think along with um, just having some electro plate you would be well over it that's what I was looking at having to get are you serious do you want to you you want to test that apparently think do we want to check this I'm willing to find out let's find out I have a bunch of uh, oh yeah, let's, let's find out. Do you think we have enough fireballs to kill him? Let's look. 160 fireballs is enough, guys? 56 level. We're going to have to find an area where we're at the edge of them, though. So, you're saying that, you, that they move slow and we might be able to m just move backwards? Let's check this out. Because he was asking about this kind of crap the other day, so... I, and I visit with him pretty often, to be honest. Oh, that's a good point. Good point. Let's see how much... That's a... Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, the one I scanned was that much. How aggressive are, are they? Like, that that's the other question that's going to have to exist, right? Trying to see how much how much distance we have for back swimming. Okay, prepare to watch this go in some direction. What's down there? It's 
one try to trick us by being underwater closer? Throw! Throw the fireball! Nah, it was trying to trick us into being close. Look at that. How close do we need to be before we throw the fireball? I don't want to be. No, 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 they're not slow. So that wrong mob. This guy's definitely fast enough to be honest. Like, wait, maybe not. Yeah, but he came up on land. This is neat. Okay, I could probably kill this guy anyway, but let's check this out. Oh, I didn't get it off. He's fast, you guys. What is this crap? Where are we? We're going to revive. It's okay. It happens. So the ones that are like that are the razor whatevers. You can totally, the highest level ones, do that too. We're going to kill this guy anyway, probably. I just have to look over the situation. Right? Let's do this real quick. He hit hard. He didn't hit ridiculous. We just weren't on it. I feel I'm nowhere near where he was, though. Okay. Okay, dark death location marked. Is that it? Is that our death location? Okay, I'm going to zap us somewhere right about here this might be a fight I'm not gonna say it. let's see what his regeneration is too right Because at the end of the day, the regeneration on this guy is going to determine, can we kill him? And the, see, now it's locking from a distance. Nah, he's fast. Oh, crap, he hits hard as heck. Uh, he's going to get us right there. Now, nah, he regenerates too much and stuff, so I'll just tell him. No. Nah. Yeah, the muck jaws and the willies, those are the ones I've heard you can for sure do that. No, nah, you're good, dude. If it would have been a thing we could do, it would be good to know right there. But his regeneration, probably a little bit over what we want to fight something. We could probably take him maybe in a couple runs. I need a healer for him, honestly. Is this guy a healer? That's Leo. Ah. I should check the healer channel, honestly. Let's not mess with those right now. Those are obviously, hey, that's a great way to get killed. I do like that mob, though. Honestly, we're going to have to get a healer. And, uh, let's see. They're going to have to have a good kit. Because we're healing pretty heavy. So those are serious as crap, you guys, if you're wondering. To be honest, don't you guys also think if we just would have had... Um, let me, we're probably appearing in the middle of something bad. If we would have just had electric plates to knock out some of the damage, it probably would have not been so bad. Look, so see, they moved stuff around. Guys, this whole planet has been moved around. we got duster workers over here. We've got these guys. Maybe they were here before. I don't remember them, but I love hunting these. I just don't know. We're going this way. Those guys are brute. So now I know why he was asking me. Like... 
In all honesty, I'm going to probably have to see if he wants to team up and group hunt those guys. <clears throat> or I'm going to have to check to see who all wants to team up and group hunt some stuff. Like that rooted uh, mech. There's no way we do anything to that rooted mech alone. That thing had way too much like life. Go look at all these guys. 15th level. Okay. Sorry, this is just out of curiosity. These guys are cool looking. So they're slow. So the reason these guys would be good to hunt is for those uh, things for doing that armor-like quest. I don't do the armor quest all the time. I do once in a while just messing around. But I know actual good armors at this point and so i don't put a whole bunch of my efforts into like getting good at something that i know other people specifically are friends that are really good at what they do already and so plus you know becoming a really excellent armor is actually a lot more work than people probably know there's some invisible barrier that pushed us away there and so like you have to assemble a ton of blueprints, a whole bunch of subcomponents go into that crap. You have to be super, super skilled up and qualified to actually not suck at it. Take away our death location real quick. Which is not that bad to do, but I mean, really, at some point you have to decide how many things you're actually going to be trying to be good at in this game. I think a good base is a, a good idea, though, just so you know, like, the value of what other people are doing. Brutal on us. This is so weird that this is no longer its own island. And I don't understand what's up with this whole empty little village of ice people stuff, but uh, we'll find our way through it. Probably a good thing it's an empty village. What's up? What's over here? This guy. Guardsman guys. Wait, can we go in here? No. Just checking. If they were iterable houses, it would be neat, right? Okay. So, I have a blue icy crystal texture, I think, or something like that. In which I think I'm not qualified to actually do it if I made it. But I feel that that would be a cool texture. Just add a, you know, that seems like it would be a cool texture, to be honest. There's a bunch of dudes standing around this village just chilling. And that's kind of like a transparent house. Don't like that. I don't want my house to be transparent. How you get creepy neighbors. Just saying. Okay. We didn't mind the crap out of this little place. I'm starting to assume that this must have been actively mined or something like that. I feel like we're not murdering it right this second. It's okay, it happens, but... What are we looking at? Ice golems! Oh, I can tell you we're not set up to fight ice golems. I don't even have to wonder about that, right? Look at this guy. Doesn't he look cool? What's this guy? Oh, homie. We'll run. Hold on. We're going to rescue Holmes.
We won't let Banana die. Do you know how hard it is to do stuff when you're in the middle of... Does he have his own... Oh, he has a... I know what he's using. Look at this. He's set up pretty good. Hey, I'm not trying to fight no ice things. I'm trying to heal Banana if he needs it. I'm gonna tell you, these these look pretty cool. What's their their claim at? One pad skill right off the bat. Okay, boom. Does a ridiculous mob, guys. <coughs> How much damage do you think takes to take down a 68th level ice dude? We got hit once there. Just lightly. I'm kinda curious. I'm gonna just hit this guy once. Let's check our, how much damage. Oh, no, no, no. They, they hit hard. Yeah. I was just curious how hard it was gonna be as a hit. That's a, that's a vbunk. And they're not even messing around. I think we saw that that wasn't messing around. We're right over here anyway. Okay. Further mining. That thing hit hard, man. 68th level, I should have known, right? Not like it was like, ah. Uh... So I'd have to Google what kind of damage those guys do. I'm sure a bunch of cold damage. He shot me with some kind of ice bolt. I assume some kind of ice damage, like piercing type thing but who knows oh, this is some serious so I think you can tell these little uh, amps last a really good long time though That guy's a beast. He was taking those down pretty fast, right? Straight up. I didn't scan him. I probably should have scanned him. We could have found out how beast he is. But that guy obviously was a little bit beast, or he wouldn't have been able to stand there and been taking out 68-something level uh, ice golems. Kind of trying to keep track of stuff here. This is the one thing I think the strategy where they just run and just pick everything up at the end is good for. I'm not really going to do that, but I do get why sometimes people don't want to deal with the, uh, these guys are probably beast, the actual going back and forth all the time. Okay. Yeah, so we have dropped a crap load of these. I'm not really sure how aggressive those are. They don't seem horribly. 
or like not like an Atrax or something, right? Sorry, my nose was itching like crazy. But those guys are just matures and stuff, so they're not gonna do crap. We're just gonna go right through them. So that 30 second level dominant sky wraith, they might be able to do something. I mean, pff. you would think that that might be able to jack us up a little. I don't know. Depending on damage type. So let me look how thick that is. That looks pretty thick though. Pretty thick. I'm not sure. I think these guys are pseudo aggressive. They're not high, high level. We might have to kill some of them. We should probably kill them just because. Make our feelings feel better if anyway. we killed. Yeah, there. Now we're all feeling better. We gotta kind of mon monitor what kind of levels are around us. Sometimes you think you're mining in an area and you think, oh, well, they're only level this. And then you're like, la di da, and all of a sudden you realize that there's a level some ridiculous and it just comes over and kills you. In which, you know, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen, but. Ah, uh, good, these are getting weaker. Oof. There. Mining's fun as crap in this game, though. Cause it's kind of just relaxing. Like, you're still actively playing, but it's more chill. <coughs> and we only have 25 more drops left, so... Definitely a lot of drops, though. I think we should go up to this mountain. I'm trying to pay attention to those Deldoth. So we're gonna have to kill him. Oh yeah. 
uh, kick it, but... Is another one attacking us? That's why we carry emergency armor on us, right? Situations like this. Oh, this is a pretty good amount. Got us down to 18 clicky clicks, huh? I'm hoping that that's them making that sound. Who knows, though? So we're not doing horrible. We didn't get global though yet. Just a bunch of swirlies. I'm going to go down into this valley. This looks all rigidly annoying to climb, honestly. And we all saw that going up things that are too steep is hard. These guys aren't a threat, so we'll just come down here, drop next to them. We've got to be way over late. Yep. Kind of figured we were overloaded by this point. Holy crap. Now we're killing it again.
Are we going to be able to work our way up this steep, steep thing? That guy's coming after us or what? Maybe? No? I'm trying to interpret that red dot's behavior right now. Oh, this guy's way overweight now. Yeah. Take most of it. Not that, though. Okay, so that's good enough. Send it to storage. That's really handy, by the way, you guys. I mean, not all the time. By the way, there's the down pig if you're looking for it. But once in a while where you're like, hey, I'm really trying to mine mine. And you have 13 clicky clicks left and you don't want to go back just to unload or you don't want to be going like one mile an hour. Just sending all your stuff back to the thing, it works out a lot of the time. Hunting too, by the way, not just mining. But... I was hoping we got through. I don't like mining, by the way, so close to the ocean. Because I feel a bunch of the surface of our mining area is taken off. Which I don't know if that's true. But I feel it is. Ooh, he got through. Did you see that? Let's kill this guy, too. How we get ourselves into some situation. I like that as a mob. Like giant gator type people. Okay. Now we're at seven because that burns so much stuff up. Okay, I use this in something too. That's kind of a weird place to be mining the side of a ridge, but well, I guess that's not true. I don't think we've made it all the way around yet, so I don't think we're over mining our own stuff yet, but definitely close to coming around the bend on this but we're on our last few drops and then we'll look over this I don't remember what we got I know it was 270 something but I don't remember exactly and I could be wrong on that so 
Luckily, it was recorded. If people want to go back and find out what we had when we turned it in, they can. Um, just to be honest. Boy, there's a lot of activity in and out today, huh? Let's drop our last one up over there. Then we'll go, we'll look at what we have here and in that other vehicle and uh, figure out what the crap, right? Looks like we did good skill-wise. Oh, we have to collect all those skills. Holy crap. Yeah, we have tons of skills to collect. And I want to show you guys what, what different tools you could use that are probably an option for you that you don't know about. Ninety ninth level? Are you serious? Is this a real thing, you guys? These are ninety ninth level Tide Pods. Or holy crap. Not Tide Pods. I don't know why I call them that. What are they actually called? It's a weird thing to call them, honestly. That's a lot of Zorn. Yeah, Tide Claws, 99th level. That's, that's awesome. We need a lot of distance to be able to take a 99th level down. Let's, let's look at this. This is ridiculous, guys. Nine hundred. Holy crap. Okay, so those are take downable, but that would not be a just right now thing. And we definitely have to like run away from them every little bit, get some distance, and come at it again a different way. Again and again. Ah man, that is so awesome. That'd be a really good group hunt, right? Like if you had just had a bunch of shooters far enough away. Go to that one. I like some of these giant, giant slow mobs that they've added in to where it's just like. If you have a big enough group and stuff, you got it. We forgot to grab daily missions on this stuff. It's okay. We'll get this stuff later. Those are just dailies. I'll, uh, I'll get all the dailies later on today. Um, only because we are trying to still slowly work towards upgrading. I want the uh, the augmented uh, Imperium plates. Honestly, I want perfect Imperium plates too. But realistically, that's just uh, not happening today, right? Okay, so we come back to this guy first. He's going to hook us up. I'll show you what I mean. We have 326 of them right now. He just gave us... Well, they don't have value like that, so... Three more of them. That's awesome. We totally did need three more of them. Plus, on top of that... Might be all we get here from him. Yeah, he just gives us the three Imperium type things right I'm okay with that I thought we got some skill too from him now I'll go over and get the skill from the other guy then that guy should give us some skill I'm gonna tell you though okay 
Now these guys right here. Oh, we did. We finished up another thing. So we're going to take this challenge first. And we're going to find out which one of these is actually uh, finished. Ah, look at this. We get a pick. Let's take the survey right now. I'm going to make sure that we haven't finished any of the others. Okay, so that's what we finished there. Then we come up to this guy. This guy's going to give us the weapon manufacturing we got earlier, right? Manufacture of weapons right there. The six pack for that. Then we just gathered all of these skill points. So see, boom, 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 mining, mining, prospecting. And so all of those give us it. So that's what I was meaning, you stack it. Then you come down to this guy right here, right? And you go to yourself and you say, we didn't grab any of the yellow crystal um, in that second part of the run. So hold on one second. That part got confusing a little bit. Let's grab our car out. Open inventory. We also want the car though too. Oh yeah, that definitely was gonna put us over. Now, so you only need, funny enough, five of these crystals for this dude over here. I think it's five. It could be less than that. It could be slightly more, but it's pretty low amount. Okay, that gives us another one of our little uh, daily... Well, it gives us a Sirene token is what it gives us. Kind of grabbed that accidentally. Now we'll find out what value this is. And I, I know I just changed the value by a Sirene token. And so, kind of did throw it off a little bit, but not, not a ton, ton. Okay, value-wise. Okay, so that's another 110. I think we had 272. So 382, we had 200 something value in um, little uh, clicky clickers, these these guys, the actual amps. Well, not 200 value, probably 180 ped in value on amps and 200 something ped in value in actual like this stuff. And so all in all, where I would say we're down slightly there. Not like a huge amount. If you count our skill progression and stuff like that, probably even less, you know what I'm saying? I don't like to count skill progression, though, into my stuff at all, just to be honest. Now, because I said I was going to show you guys this stuff, I do want to show you this. And this is what the difference is. Tools. Boom. Right? So you've got a 102 or 105s and stuff like that, which a lot of people use, and they go 300-something meters down, right? So say the Ziplexes, and this is not the only good brand of ones, right? But it's one of the good ones. You've got a Ziplex 5. A Ziplex 5 requires you to be first level, right? And its training period is what? First through second level? Yeah, that's nothing. It's going 300 foot down. Okay, so then let's go to the Ziplex 10. Not the A10, that thing sucks. I like the A10 for some reason. Do I have a Ziplex 10? Oh, okay, there, boom. Sorry. This thing. You have to be second to third level to use this. So that's nothing still again, right? This thing's already going 400 meters down, and it's automatically going to tear on its own. And it's the so on with the 15 and stuff like that. These ones I'd like to get into where I'm making these TKs, but I'm not a high enough level tool crafter yet. 
this would be outside of my zone of, of accomplishment, but I'll show you a, a TK220. Ridiculous. It starts off at 776 depth zone. And so that's absolutely powerful. The one I'm wanting to switch to, let's see, um, is probably more within this zone. I'm qualified to use it. This is more within my qualified tool crafty zone where I wouldn't be messing up. But in all honesty, let's see. Let's see if the 25 is in here. Yeah, 25 is more where I am. Probably tool crafty wise. And honestly, I wouldn't be that great at crafting these. So I'd be leery to add these to my store as an item that I would be trying to push all the time. But this thing is starting out at 626. So let me see if the one that I'm trying to get a hold of is in here. And I'm not. Don't. If you know, be trying to like make it where it's impossible to get this, you guys. But I'll show you this if it's in here. Some of those Terra Masters are nice. I'm not going to talk crap about them. None of those. The, those Z Plex D33, let's see what that is. See, we don't get to see it unless we own the blueprint. I don't know enough about that one, so I won't tell you that's good or not. I don't want to say crap about it yet. Um, I'm looking for the one I'm looking for. And I'm not seeing it. Uh, a lot of those Z pluxes are going to be good, though, just so you guys know. I don't like the A ones, though. I'm not a fan of the A series crap. I don't know what they were doing. Okay, so nobody, nobody is selling the the one that I'm looking for anyway. So there is an actual better tool than the one I'm currently using, and and that's the funny thing. I will tell you, though, it is extraordinarily, obviously, not the most common blueprint. I watch for it pretty commonly. I know it. I just, you know, today I can't think of what it's called. I guess we'll have to really watch for it. All the ones I saw in there are ones that I've seen multiple times before, and I don't consider, like, a next level up that's within my crafting zone. Um, but... Honestly, if you're going for something specific, use a specific tool. If you're just out there messing around and training and stuff like that, you know, I probably think I would use a trade terminal tool more than anything. But um, make sure to stack your missions. That's like the biggest thing. I think that's the biggest thing. If you don't stack your missions, you're basically messing yourself out of a huge amount of the actual skill points. And at the end of the day, without the skill points and stuff like that, you're not going to ever qualify for something massive as a uh, thing you could craft or a thing you can do. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get us over to um, somebody right now. Um, it looks like there is somebody that's actually playing Entropia and stuff, so I'll get us there. I hope you guys have a great day. Peace, very best wishes. And thank you guys very much, by the way, for hanging out. Hold on one second.